Hi guys, it's Mrs. Millison. Okay, today we're going to learn about compound Boolean expressions, which you remember from math are an and, an and statement or an or statement. Okay, I should make these on two lines. Remember our and looks something like um, if the age was between say 18 and 65, I would say 18 is less than or equal to age, which is, let me put some spacing in here, which is less than 65. Okay, that's an and. Um, and this would get me any age between 18 and 65, including 18. And or would be to get the people outside. So age is going to be less than 18, or um, age is going to be greater than or equal to 65. Okay, so this will get me my minors, the people under 18, and the people over, or 65 and over, who are retirement age. Okay, um, so this is how we've seen and and or in math. Well, we can do them in um, programming as well. Okay, um, some of it doesn't look the same though. All right. Okay, let's do the and. Let's do the and first. Okay. For and, we use the double and, okay? So I'm going to do an if statement. Oh, we need to declare. Let's declare a variable. Let me come up here and declare a variable first. We'll do age. Um, we'll just say 25 to start with. We'll change it. We'll change it and test it. Okay, so if, I want to clean up my spacing here. Okay, so I want to do an and. I cannot do, I cannot just copy and paste this. Okay, unfortunately, that doesn't work. Okay, but what I can do is just divide these up. I'm going to have um, both. Okay, so I'm going to, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to write the name age twice. Okay, so I could put an and between them. Okay, so that's the thought process. Now let's get the syntax. Age is less than 65 looks good. This needs to be flipped. I have to have the variable first. So I'm going to put my age is. Um, greater than or equal to 18. Okay, so we'll clean this up. Oh, get rid of my 18. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so this will get me all ages that are greater than or equal to 18 and less than 65. So in an and statement, both of these conditions must be met. Okay, um, let's put this up. Both conditions met to be true. So there's there's very few trues. The only time I'm going to get a true is if both if the age is greater than or equal to 18 and um, less than 65. If it's greater than 18 but greater than 65, that's a true false that's going to be false. Um, if this is not met and this is, it's going to be a false true, which is false. And then if they're both false, the whole thing's going to be false. So the only time I can get a true is if they're both true. Besides that, it's always false. Okay, so what's going to happen if my age is? I'm just going to print out a little something. These are your prime working years, right? We'll say age is within primary working years. Okay. Now, let me put my, finish my little statement here. Um, else. Oops, oh my goodness. Else what? What if it isn't true? Then we're going to print out age is not within prime working years. Okay. Let me cheat a little bit, do a little copy and pasting here, is not. Okay. All right, let's compile. Let's run this. Now, age 25, it is between 18 and 65. It's greater than 18 and it is less than 65. So I should get this statement printed out. Age is within primary working years, correct? Come on. How come it's not running? There we go. Age is within primary working years, okay? Let's make somebody a little younger. Let's make them 16, okay? Now 16 is not greater than 18. It is less than 65, but this would be a false and a true. So a false and a true is going to be false. So this should give us age is not within primary working years. Okay. So for an, a double and, 
or the, the double and for san to do the and both conditions must be met okay let's do an or um, only one condition must be met for a true okay let's come down here um, not forget about our age let's do an or now an or what symbol are we going to use we're going to use the flat I don't know vertical line I guess you call it it is um, you have to hold down shift and it's the key above your enter key it looks like a vertical a vertical line it's it's above the um the backslash okay all right so there's my or so now let's do now this actually converts beautifully all I gotta do is copy and paste this because the age is going to be less than 18 or age is going to be greater than or equal to 65 so the ors are kind of nice okay this actually works my variables first variables first and then my operator and then my number all I gotta do is change the word or to those double lines okay and I have a lot of space in here just to emphasize okay um, now if this is true let's print something a little different um, let's again just gonna cheat a little bit and copy and paste that let's say um, age is now if the age is less than 18 or greater than or equal to 65 it's not within the primary working layers age is um, either a minor a minor so under 18 oops, or um, over 65 eligible for Oops, for retirement. Okay, I wanted to say something a little different than what we have up here. Okay, of course, let's do an else. What if that is, what if that is false? Okay, so if the age is not less than 18 um, or not greater than 65, this should be our primary working years, correct? Yes. <laughs> Let me copy and paste. And we'll put a little note in here so we know. Let's put a little note here from the OR. Okay. So we should kind of get the same thing. Okay. Age is still 16. Okay. So age is still 16. Um, so let's, let's see what we get. Age is not within primary working years. Age is either minor or eligible for retirement. So up here, the 16, this was not, this did not evaluate to be true because this one wasn't true. Okay, so it gave us this one. But down here, this part was true. Age was less than 18. Now 16 is not greater than 65, but with an or, only one of them has to be true. So as long as one of them's true, it's true. So we got that. We got uh, our result from the um, compound being true okay let's change to um 70. oh no i want it in between let's change it to 50. okay so 50 is between so i should get age is primary working years and age is 50. 50 is not less than 50 is not less than um 18 or 50 is not greater so this is false false so this would be false so i should get ages within primary working years okay did i compile and there we go ages within primary working years that comes from my and and ages within primary working years that's from my or okay um anyway these these take some practice okay um, and we'll there's a nice detail about the truth about the the truth tables looking at all your possibilities of true 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 false false true false false for and and or in the curriculum so we'll take a look at those um, the other thing I wanted to do was a not okay let's say um, if we did if let's see age is greater than or equal to 20 and age is less than 30 this will basically give me everybody in their 20s right Oops. 
age is in the 20s. Okay. Um, or else, excuse me, not or, else age is not, let's capitalize not, in the 20s. I'm going to change the age. Let's make it 25. Okay, so let's see what will happen here. Age is 25. So 25 is greater than or equal to 20, and 25 is less than 30. So this would be true and true, which evaluate to true. So I should get ages in the 20s. Okay, after all the other stuff. <laughs> there we go, ages in the 20s. Now I can. Now, if if it was false, I would get age is not in the 20s. You can negate this, okay? So if I take this whole expression, I'm going to put some space in here just for emphasis. If I take this whole expression and negate it with my exclamation point, these results are going to flip because if something is in the age and it's true, I want not true, so I want false. So this if it's false, I want this what this response. If this ends up being false and then I negate it, then it's true. Then I want this response because this would have been false. Okay. This gets a little tricky. So I really have to um, switch these. Oops. Okay. So again, um, I'm not changing the age. It was still 25, but I should still get ages in the 20s because 25 is greater than or equal to 30 and 25 is less than 30. So that's true, but I just negated it. So now it's false. So if it's false, I've got to do my else statement. Okay, this gets a little tricky and we will talk about this more in the next video when we talk about DeMorgan's Law. Okay, um, have fun with these. These are very, it's very useful to do truth tables when you're working with compound inequalities um, or compound operators, the and and the or, um, because sometimes you can lose track of it. So have fun and keep working at it. And I'll see you next time.